Here is the budget-friendly fuel flow meter I built. If you're like me and you don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on a fuel flow meter, you can build your own for around about $30 to $40. At the moment, I'm just blowing into the sensor to simulate fuel passing by. Top number represents liters per minute that has come past and the bottom number represents the total amount of liters. There is a button on the side that resets the total. Now let's open it up and see what's inside. As you can see, there's not actually that much going on. We just have this IC2 compatible display, the Arduino Nano, and in the back there a 5 volt regulator as most boats run on 12 volt as well as the reset button on the side. All these components together will cost you around 30 to 35 New Zealand dollars, so not much at all. First thing you're going to need to do is get onto AliExpress and buy one of these fake uh, fuel flow sensors. This is just a knockoff, but it seems to work really well. It's just a three pin output as well, five volts in, ground, and a sensor. I recommend using a Nano for the end product, but we're just going to do the testing with this Uno here. Once you've connected the fuel flow sensor and the Arduino up, we can start the testing and calibration. Here I'm just using a small water pump to pump water through it. Then you just want to have it connected to your laptop where we can monitor the results. And there's the power supply that will be running the water pump. First we start off by monitoring the exact amount of water that comes out of the pump. This is the total amount. I'll use this measuring cup here to measure how much water has flown out and then I will check it with the results that we have on the laptop and here we can keep tweaking it till we have the perfect amount. As you can see here we've got about 460 milliliters and on the laptop we have 470 milliliters so we will need to adjust that a little bit. Here is our next setup. We're going to be using a stopwatch to measure fuel flowed over time. As you can see here, it's showing the amount per minute that is coming out. And what we'll do is we will take measurements on the bucket and then compare it to how much time has elapsed to see if the measurements are accurate that we are seeing on the screen. Now let's review the code for the program. As we can see here at the very top, we have the library for the display. And then we have the variables that we'll be using. The interval variable I have set at 5000, which means every five seconds it's going to update this display. You can change this depending on how you want it to work for you. The second part is just our setup. The most important bit here is the interrupt pin, and that is to count the pulses from the sensor. Here's the function that goes along with that interrupt, showing that it increases the pulse count. Now let's review the main part of our code. At the top we take the current millis and then underneath we have a if statement if the button is pressed just to reset the total pulses or this is the total amount of liters that has passed by. Our next if statement below that happens every five seconds. It detaches the interrupt. It then calculates the amount of liters using the total pulses and also the liters per minute using a little calculation there and then it reattaches the interrupt and displays and that's all there is to this program it is very simple